So here's the number plate keyring templates. Now this is a personalized one. Um, so it really doesn't matter which one you pick. In fact, we'll just pick this one for the sake of argument because this is just a test to show you what we do. So you double click it and we're actually going to delete, believe it or not, everything that's on there already. And we'll delete side A and we'll delete side B. And we'll get rid of the text as well. And we'll get rid of that and we'll go to side A and delete that one. And so now there's nothing in there whatsoever. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just take another quick look at little Billy's order for his uh, granddad there. So we're looking for the Mustang. So all we need to do now is uh, click on Add Pick. And uh, obviously you need to find out where the folder actually lives. So we found the folders now. And basically what we do, I mean, like I say, these images are included in the software for you. And we're going to move down to, um, if we can see, uh, an image called Mustang. So we're, they're all in alphabetical order anyway for you. Um, so we'll just keep moving down. And okay, so we've got two Mustangs. There's one, and there's the other one. And this is the one that's used in the image, the small Mustang. Um, so we'll just double click that one. And now it's pretty easy. All you need to do now is use your there's two grey boxes here, sorry there's two large boxes and there's an inner uh, dark line so you work always off this inner dark line just put your mouse on the corner and drag and drop it and let go and in will come the Mustang um, so that's side A um, quite easy feature of the software now because this is double sided you actually click copy side A to B now you'll notice on the reverse if I just move up onto where it says side B at the top there look it's exactly the same on the back now as it was on the front and this is what you need to do it's got to be the same on the front as the back so we'll move back to side A now we're gonna to have to put the flag in so what we'll do is we'll just take another quick look at what you are and it's just the simple GB logo with the uh, Union Jack and so now we go back to add pick and we look at the flags and we just select a thumbnail and now we can actually see the flags so we're going to move down to where we can see GB there it is and we'll click open so we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before we're going to start in the top left hand corner of the inner grey line and we're just going to draw around the box and so there we are that's our flag on as well and that's ready to go and the next thing we're going to do get used to doing this is just click copy side A to side B so the front is exactly the same as the back so the Mustang's in and the flag's in. That's how easy it is. And we'll just take a look at the image again. And now we can see that uh, little Billy's typed in Grandad. So we'll go back to the software. And that's exactly what we'll do now. So here we go. And now at the top of the software there you can see some boxes that say there's a little green cross. There's lots of features in there. We're not going to use those at the moment. But it is fully featured this software. It's very easy to use. We'll just click on add text and there's a little dialog box that comes up, we don't need to see that again because it's just prompting us uh, to click on the desired location where you'd like the text so we'll click on the actual uh, keyring itself you'll notice there's some small little dots around it, that just means you can move it around and that you're actually working on that area at the moment so you can see it says type text here, now what we're going to do is just move to the left and we'll, uh, that is where type text here lives, we're going to press delete and this is where we're going to just put caps lock on and type in grandad and as I type you'll notice that that's actually coming into the into the software now now the order for grandad we'll just take one more quick look at it it was slightly bigger than that and um, so what we'll do is we'll increase the uh, the point size uh, to say 20 and um, click on the text again and there you go as you can see the text has actually increased to the right size that we need and we'll just move that over and centralize that nicely so now what we're going to do is actually put the small writing underneath the number plate keyring and uh, we're just going li to literally click on add text again and click on the button now this time we want to make it a little bit smaller and not as bold so on the left here you'll see there's lots of features you can uh, so we'll just remove the little tick where it says bold and we'll knock that text size down instead of being 10 as default we'll take it down to say 8 um, also I find that personally when I'm making them I change the font normally to an aerial narrow uh, and on there that doesn't it's not quite as bold and it does look like it's uh, designed to do on, on the base of the actual keyring itself for the text 
So here we go, same thing again on the left hand side. Delete that text, then we'll, again I'll just add that's fine. And uh, back to the software, and in there, caps lock is on because that's how they've ordered it. And happy birthday, granddad. Okay, so the text is still quite big. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce that text now to uh, say a six. Click on the text again, and that's more in keeping with what the uh, the person orders, little Billy orders. And there you go. So that's pretty much a finished design, but we've got one thing left to do, which we've, we've done before, and you'll probably already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say copy side A to B. And so exactly the same things on the back as is on the front. So now that's actually completed. It's ready to go. So what we can do now is we can actually pr uh, click print. And you'll notice now it gives you two options. You've got the choice of using pre-cut paper. Um, luckily we offer pre-cut paper. You know, it's already laser cut for you. It comes on A4 sheets, and there's so many on a sheet, and we do laser cut paper for lots of the products that we offer, but we certainly do have them for the number plate keywings. Yeah, and then that just means you just put your pre-cut paper into your printer, and out they come, and there's no need to even cut these things. You can literally just peel them off the sheet. Uh, a lot of our customers also prefer to use their own photo paper or whatever, which is fine, so you've also got the option to use uncut paper there, which is the option I'm going to select now. So I'm literally just going to click on uncut paper and you'll immediately notice that uh, there is a preview of the uh, uh, the keyring that we've basically designed. Keyrings have a side A and a side B so there's a front and a back because they're see through. Now if you click on the image, anywhere on that image you'll get a larger view uh, and click on it again and you'll go back to the default standard view. Um, but the great news is now you don't want to be printing a full sheet of paper um, so if you were to move over to the left hand side and now click none you'll notice all of the designs disappear well because in this case you may only be making one keyring um, you, if you just click on the little stars again you, you can select uh, one and two so you've got a front and a back of the keyring there ready to go and if you want to if you, just in case you make a mistake you might want to print one more so that it's on the sheet ready for you um, so literally you, uh, at this stage you would now click print which I'm going to do and uh, just check the properties to make sure quality uh, full color uh, I won't actually print it obviously naturally but if I was to click OK now that would be coming straight out of my printer and uh, if I was using the pre-cut uh, paper the laser paper which as I say is already pre-cut for you you literally just pull them off the sheet and put them inside the keyring uh, you put uh, one towards one side and then the other one back to back and literally just push the keyrings together and that's it that's how easy it is to make a number plate keyring go ahead and play with it you know try it out uh, to your heart's content